Hello out there, I'm AWAC. I'm Gamma Dev. And welcome back to our Let's Play video blogcast thing. Uh, we're doing a little bit of early crystal dynamics this time. Uh, and the first one we're going to do is the first one they did. Uh, this is uh, Crash and Burn. Yes, back when game consoles uh, had pack-ins. <laughs> Thank you for breaking that tradition, Sony. <laughs> I always liked this logo. I don't know why. I always liked this. It is a bit... Um, uh, I just graduated from art schoolish. <laughs> In the sense of like how ostentatious can you get? It's like, oh, you have, you know, a, it's a flying logo in space. CDs flying in space, lens flare. Look, we got the CD texture just right. You know, that kind of thing. <laughs> uh, lens flares. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I just figured out how to use... Um, yeah, light wave or something. Yes. Uh, so. Which, oh yeah, so look at previews. Yes. Which, what, look at yeah, what do you want to see? Yeah, what what their upcoming what stuff they, was? What they promised before the console even shipped. Chunky, 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 chunky. I still say that's Sonic Park. Really? I don't, I'm not sure I agree. Love to talk to somebody who was there at the right. time. Somebody knows how to read the file system on the disc, don't they? <laughs> And you should be able to pull the files off and then throw a uh, header. Just look, look at the header. Yeah, look at the headers. Yeah, I don't have to do that. Once upon a time, in a distant and who's the guy who starred in this? They like starred in qu in open clothes. Kirk open Cameron. Kirk Cameron. That's right. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Growing pains, right? Uh, one, of those, one of those fine, wholesome shows. <laughs> They're so not the Cosby Show. <laughs> Yes. The evil, cunning, hungry, oh. eat all your non volatile rain. Of course, people know the growing pains is like, hey, that's the guy who's the dad, was the guy who's the father, the guy who was twerking with Miley Cyrus. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. No, wait, is this actually a movie or is this actually a little bit of. I, you know, I don't know. It's it seems way too fast for it to be a movie because Cinepack was never the this fast. The blacks seem way too black to be a movie uh -huh. in the sense that normally if you had that oh, kind of amount right, of black, it would the, you would have uh, macro blocking like a bit. Mm -hmm. Twenty four frames a second. This was something to shoot for. Yeah, in the, in, in the uh, early nineties. For well, for three D. Yes, for doing three D and at twenty four frames a second, that was that you, PCs couldn't do that. You know, at mm -hmm. that time. So, wildly yeah, so, expensive PCs, maybe, with a card that didn't quite launch yet. Or an yeah. Evanston Sutherland workstation, but... Yeah. So, yes. Hello again. This is... Yeah, I can't skip that. Uh, this is... I'm guessing they just went to the... At the end of the movie, they said, ah, oh, just hit the reset function. And, oh, here we go. Yeah, those th that blocking does not look cinepacky to me, but... I... Mm. And see, well, and then, and I, then it goes chunky here, and... I, I... I'm pretty sure I've seen stuff like that. Okay, just and that the way that fade looks is so Cinepak. <laughs> yeah, but it has this sort of like diagonal artifact to it that subsequent Cinepak I never really well, saw. Well, this is like an ordered dither they're doing there, and I'm pretty sure that's part. So of... So they changed the ordered dither pattern. It's interesting that the game itself actually looks better than the intro, the pre-rendered intro movie. <laughs> Okay, now I have to remember how all the controls work. Interesting to see how much space is take, this, this takes up on the disc. <laughs> yeah, how much of it's like... That would be interesting. So, alright, so like options. Ah, alright. Okay, memorize that. <laughs> what? Backup? You can back you up can, on the you can track. Back up on the track. Right. Steer, pause. Why would you ever want to back up on the track? I don't know. You might be stuck. We have to try something. that because because I remember there was like some controversy about that one. The game launched because um, I remember there were a lot of um, you know, I just say it was Jaguar owners <laughs> saying uh -huh. that the whole thing was pre-rendered video, and I was like, "Ha! If uh -huh. you could get pre-rendered full screen, pre-rendered video to render that fast, that would have been an accomplishment of itself." Mm -hmm. But the reason they they they're proof of that, and I think. I think Stephen Landrum corrected him uh -huh. online. Yeah, uh, was that if you if you open the disc, if you eject, if you eject the disc, yeah, eventually the game would stop. Ah, and 
Oh, it might have been streaming geometry it, off the it disc. Was, well, it wasn't streaming geometry. What it was actually streaming the whole the whole geometry list was in memory. Mm-hmm. But what was streaming was the visibility list. Oh. And they did I, they didn't because the calculations to figure out like what was what could be, um, just a you know a wholesale like discarded at any point in time. They didn't have any like. BSP trees or octree mm-hmm. occluders or anything like that. Right. They just, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm throwing a lot of technical terms around here, but that's no, fine. <laughs> but, uh, so you've got this, a computer, look it up on Google. Jeez. Yeah. The simplest thing that they, they did in the time frame they did was they just had a program that drove the track mm. and would cast rays out into the world and see like <laughs> what was visible to any particular section of track. Okay. I got a little brute force, but yeah, effective. but Hey, yeah. Well, you know, you can do, do it that. offline and do it once. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, and they would just it would just walk the it would just walk the track edge to edge and figure out what you could see, and then it would just have a visibility list based on that. Hmm. And so what is streaming is a nice linear visibility list of saying this goes in, this comes up, this goes out, this comes in, this goes out, and so they don't have to spend any CPU time calculating that. So that's pretty good. Yeah. Well, you know, it's one of those things where it's like if you know your parameters of your problem, you can mm-hmm. uh, offload a lot of the work and. And you know, it simplified right. their programming since you know this uh, this was launch title, so they probably only had like yeah. a few months and if, to get finished. Right. And, and, be- and you know, it probably became the pack in, much to their surprise, right. uh, late late in the cycle when JPI was uh, going to be late. Yeah, um, like what six months late or something. And oh. a weapon, I guess, is for switching weapons, and then the right shoulder button is for firing said weapon. View nitro. Got and, a nitro and accelerate. Right. So, is there a break? Maybe that's backup. I don't know. Could be. I don't know. All right. I, I don't think there's any real break. This is not like pole position where you can like slide off the track and hit a billboard. No, you can't much. fall off the track. I mean, that much. So, what do you think? Let's do rally. And then we get, of course, oh boy, the drivers. Oh god. So, <laughs> this was standing in a black so remember, featureless void. So remember, I bought. Yeah, I bought this before I, a year before I went to work at 3 Uh huh. And I brought this in the place I was working. The the lady on the right there. Uh, this one? Yes. Okay. She has more, minus the white makeup and bald head, she has more than a passing resemblance to the our uh, our company's boss. <laughs> <laughs> and the second I, I put this out there, everybody goes, I won't say her name. Okay. <laughs> we go, the company uh, you were working for at the time? Yes. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll say it. Gee, never just scream. <laughs> And she, at first she was slightly offended, but then she's like, she's kind of a badass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, just, so if you, like, select them, you get their little spiel or whatever. Yeah. If you want to know my secret, just get behind me at 400 miles per hour. I'll drop a few toys of joy on the track for you to play with. Then you'll understand. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, the powers of multimedia. <laughs> Since now we can actually see the characters that we didn't care about to begin with. The interactive multiplayer makes this possible. Yes. yes. <laughs> Look, we have a loop. Pre-rendered thus, loop. thus began the whole, let, let's throw some live action sequences into our video game. Mm-hmm. And, you know, Apropos of nothing. And then, you know, eventually they're hiring Michael Ironside to make you know, <laughs> long movies. And, and Biff from Back to the Future and Mark Hamill and all this. <laughs> I've seen actually. There's actually a movement now that people are getting kind of sick of the the CG cutscenes, and they're actually going. A lot of them are like thinking, "Let's go back to doing live action." Uh huh. Because 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 you notice like a lot of the TV ads now for games mm-hmm. are actually live action. Yeah. They you know in game well, they'll in, be in game action. Well, no, they will actually be they'll like you know like hate like the last I think three Halo games they've actually done live action shoots. You know, obviously a lot of special effects in CG, but uh-huh. they will actually have people, you know, dressed up in real armor, Spartans running around and really and do it. Yeah, huh? Because you know they want that thing, and then also because they will have like non-combat scenes, it would kind of look weird, you know, or it's like uh-huh. you know, like little you know stuff shot on Earth where it's supposed to be, you know, mm-hmm. you know, the damage of war and stuff like that. And so people was like, well, why don't we just? Put those back in games. Why don't we have, you know, because the CG is not getting, the thing is now they've got the CG so close to being live action. It's like, mm-hmm. well, why don't you just do live action, you know? 
Is it... And so we don't have to worry about Uncanny Valley, you know. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that they've almost conquered Uncanny. They've almost pushed past it. Yeah, but it's more expensive than to actually just shoot somebody live well, and throw them onto a green screen set well, or something. Well, yeah, okay, but I mean, I don't think you're going to get uh, somebody to be able to dress up as an actual gear. And have, have you it seen work. every uh, Comic Con? Have you been to a Comic Con? No, recently? I have not. All the cosplays, the people are getting pretty good at that. <laughs> Have you seen the movie Elysium? <laughs> no, I haven't, I haven't seen it's that. It's basically I, I Halo the movie, except uh, ah. Halo, Halo meets Occupy Wall Street, essentially, is what, <laughs> what that movie is. But yeah, that's... So yeah, I've seen a lot of things where there, there's... I wouldn't be surprised if you, next year you start seeing a lot more like live-action huh. cutscenes in games, just because, why not, you know? Oh, all right. Particularly if it's like a first-person shooter. If you think about it, you never see your face, right? So why not have yeah. a live-action person playing you, you know, or... I don't look like that. Yeah. Obviously, you can't customize your avatar then. You know. <laughs> Very true. Uh, so no matter what you do, you're going to look like George Clooney. Um, but, yeah. Uh, so for some reason, I remember this guy is having the better car. Oh, okay. I don't know why. I like to destroy racers in many different ways, just to keep from being bored. My favorite tactic is to flash the target with a bright light. Then finish him off as he stumbles around the track blind. <laughs> it's a YouTube video before there was YouTube. Yep. Except for... <laughs> yeah, except it took hours to crunch these out. Yes. Well, yeah, but yeah, the production values. You know, people nowadays can just do anything in their backyard. That was kind of like this. It's like, yeah, this is the uh, developers doing something by virtue of the fact, you know, mm -hmm. they could afford it. They could afford an expensive camera, but not much more. And yeah. <laughs> So I don't even think I don't even think have an expensive camera at this point. I mean, well, no, digital, was, everything, digital was still, everything was still standard def, and you still had to record to tape. There was no such thing as a digital camera, really. Well, they're I mean, digital. Not you got like, into the twenty thousand dollar range. Well, that's what I mean. But you're they're they're not these are not analog things. They've been digitized or whatever. These right because they had they were digitized. These, after these the were fact digital. Of like you know, I mean, right now we're using uh, oh, a video probably, digitizer. Yeah, that but I'm saying this like, is probably digit. But I'm saying this is probably like early digital. Uh, digital tape. This is probably an early digital consumer camera. Hmm. Pro, pro, early pro DV, consumer, you know. Early DV stuff or DVC, yeah. yeah. Like Eight millimeter. I don't know. I thought he had a good car, but I'm looking at the stats here. Acceleration poor, armor poor. Hmm. Uh, speed. I don't know. Who cares? Well, armor doesn't have to be too bad because you you can always repair your car at the. Uh... Oh, that's right. There's the repair facility. Yes. Oh, do I have to pick one? Oh, I do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Quick, we need titles. <laughs> so bash something out. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah I mean, if, we, if we look at the credits of this game, it's probably probably not even 20 people. Yeah. yeah. No, it's, it, was a, it was a very small team. Yeah, and, and this very small team was working on three games at the time. Yeah. So. And they were at the other, and they were actually the other end of the building from us. Um, NTG was in one end of the building, and Crystal Dynamics was in the other. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, sure. uh, at, at the, off the end of uh, near the uh, municipal <laughs> airport in Palo Alto. That's why. Well, um, that's why they're still not that far from where 3 do originally was to this day. I think their their studios are pretty much Threedio, within a within an exit yeah. of where 3 do was. <laughs> well, 3 do kind of well, 3 do originally started life under the name SMSG, San Mateo Software Group, and then they changed their name to 3 do Like, wow, we changed our name. We've rebranded. Yeah. Pay attention, you know. Well, um, maybe because and then he moved, maybe because S M S G sounds like submachine gun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when I when I when I ever hear that, I immediately go, oh, submachine gun. <laughs> Sometimes I ask myself how I can stand the senseless death and continuous uh, yes. violence and death drowning. Then I get my winners check, and it all becomes clear. My favorite weapon is the missile. It's a cross between Crocodile Dundee and oh. Yahoo Sirius. Is this is the the street. <laughs> maybe the Road Warrior in there. Which is also getting a new game this next year, this really? or next year. There's the Road uh, it, 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 well, Mad Max or whatever oh. that that world or whatever is getting a a reboot in a in both I believe a movie and a video game. Oh, great! So, yeah, because I don't know which was announced first. I was like, I, I remember hearing, I remember hearing about the game first, but then somebody saying, "Oh, the movie is with I want to say it's Clive Owen or something." But yeah, mm. play with it, play with it. I get. I guess I have to push the button. Oh, all right. Yes, it doesn't say to push the button. Ah, uh, yes. Back before they'd figure out how to do nice uh, loading in the background, uh, I guess. Okay, three, so uh, three laps. Get it. Get it. Okay. It's waiting for you. 
Yeah, the whole like UI thing they haven't really figured out yet either for no, like, was, telling you no, when was, you need to prompt for right. It was I mean the, I mean just having a page that described the UI was what? Yeah, a oh. accelerate <laughs> five. Wait, oh that's what I thought it was counting down. <laughs> you think they were counting down from two hundred to start to race? <laughs> or is your position? Yeah, that's my yeah that's my current position in. Uh, yeah, you have weapons. So that weapon. one, yeah, those are very weak because they're unlimited. I don't uh -huh. know how they say unlimited is just nine, 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 nine instead of like putting a little in infinity symbol there or something. But uh, so it's just a counter that never counts down. So you can switch weapons with your other uh, right. shift button. So I think you have some. Oh, you're in first already. Wow. Yeah. Well, I guess your first race, but I always thought, you know, I remember like into like 3DO's third year. Mm-hmm. Going back and playing this and realizing, wow, this actually still looks pretty good. You know, for a you know for a 3D O title, it looks pretty good. And like the skybox, in particular, I thought looked good compared to like other games of the time that had a skybox mm -hmm. that didn't look like a skybox, just looked like a flat texture, just kind of sliding back and forth. Like even like um, like Red Racer or mm -hmm. uh, what's what's Sega Daytona Daytona. Oh yeah, yeah. Just like on the Saturn, it was literally just a sliding texture. It wasn't very you know, it didn't look like, like a sky, a 3D sky or anything. Get out of my way. Yeah, it always confused me when I saw the screen do that and I realized, oh, I guess that's because they're trying to say that, you know, your visibility is is impaired. But it's like, it's kind of odd that happens from a third person perspective, you know, that's like. Because mm. okay. most people would play the, the race from the first person, but it's actually, I don't know, yeah. Oh, I appear to be out of stuff. You're out of missiles, but you can switch to your other gun. Oh, you have mines. Repair, repair. And this was kind of an interesting thing that you could decide how much to repair your thing. Basically, you can take off at any point. You don't have to wait right. for it. So you can... Kind of like the old risk reward. Like, how many do you let go by before mm -hmm. you, uh, you load up again? Now you have mines. and uh, Which you can run into. <laughs> yeah, they, they mess you up pretty bad, pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's good to quickly pass them and then drop some mines. You know, so. But yeah, the uh, yeah, what apparently what they're streaming in is not the music, but it's the visibility. Uh, hmm. It does sound a bit like a mod file. Sound effects could be a little better. They could uh, sell like you know the speed a little better. Some uh, whoosh buys or something. I imagine they were still exploring how much RAM they had to play with. Right. Well, I mean that. Well, that of course that's something that the uh, 3D would have been really good at. Would be like with the DSP, like you know taking a sound and just doing a <laughs> distortion on it mm. kind of, for very little RAM. I remember that was uh, God. What's his name? I can't think of it. Uh, who's our sound guy? Uh, Phil, Phil Burke. Burke. Yeah, yeah. PB Phil Burke. Yeah, uh, doing a demo of like you know, making like a helicopter from like zero assets. So almost you know, where it's like, it's like you take this wave in, you threw this oscillator on it, and all the stuff just like just by hooking up different stuff in the DSP, making a really convincing sounding like helicopter mm -hmm. going by and such. And it was one of those things where I thought it was probably one of the underutilized parts of the 3DO was the the sound uh, the DSP. It was for for guys like me who'd like basically come to something DSP-ish for the first time. It was very unfamiliar, right. um, and so I wasn't quite sure how to make it all work. Did you have some missiles? Um, yeah, but I'm in front now, so now it's um, oh, okay. It's uh, laying mines time. And of course, there's drones out here, which are just a pain in the neck. Yeah. And there's also a uh, danger of hitting your own mines. But when we all, well, this is the third lap, so I don't think. Is this the third lap? Yeah, it is. Pew! <laughs> yeah, I mean, and I, I think, think I'm like... the flashing red circle on there, so I think I'm in good shape as far as. Uh... And you know, Wait, it's in your last lap, huh? 
Oh, you're, okay. you're doing pretty good. I'm actually surprised at uh, how little like cracking I'm seeing hmm. for a 3D title like this. I don't, a, a, you know, a first 3D title. Unless they just... I mean, I, I assume they had to have done LOD stuff, so they should have. Mm, well, I imagine Cerny et al. would have been hip to that technique, but... I mean... <laughs> I mean, I never knew about it. <sighs> Damn it. But yeah, usually, I mean, even like later titles, I mean, heck, I've seen it within the last few generations, the old, uh, mm -hmm. um, where you see like cracking where the, on the road, on road textures, are like, you know, the, where the grass meets the, the pavement and stuff because they didn't do their coordinates correctly and you get, you know, visible cracks between it. Mm. It'd be even harder to assume on one of these uh, to get it just right. Mm since it's a, a source-based engine, right? Oh, you get uh, points for... You get money for destroying the drones. Oh, there you go. Wait, so you had cracks in the source-based engine? What? No, no, not, not oh. sources and... Oh, I'm sorry. Bell, but not that, no, no, no. I mean. uh, I'm saying instead, when you're sampling the cells, it's, it's yeah. entirely source-based. Oh, it's that's right. Based. Yeah, it's, that's correct. Basically, every pixel in the source is red, no matter how large it subtends... How, many, how large a space it subtends on the screen. Right. Twix. Twix? Twix. I have no idea which one that is. <laughs> yeah, oh. Crash. Crash course. Track two. Yeah. And this was, I mean, this was a good choice for a pack-in compared mm -hmm. to, like, the other titles that were available at launch. Because mm -hmm. what else you had? You had uh, Shelley Duvall, It's a Bird's Life. <laughs> What else were the other launch titles? I'm trying to remember oh. They were out like day one. Oh man! Well, I mean, mine wasn't really mine wasn't ready on day one. It was no. in, uh, a couple months later. Um, was she... Stellar Seven? No, I don't. Draxons. Were... I remember that was like a very early one because I remember playing that before. Which one Monster is Stellar Mario. Seven? What? That's the Battle Zone kind of thing. It's oh. it's like an old. It used to be an old vector game on like the Apple II and oh, okay. eight bit, and then they upped it, of course, to. Mm -hmm. I saw somebody playing. They go, "Wow, this is really smooth." It's like, yeah, it's basically a two D game. It's really not, you know, it's not very three D. Um, but it's um, what? Oh God! What it's basically, it's Battle Zone with like a hover uh, tank. Yeah. Wow, I don't. Ugh. Michael Dorn doing the intro voiceover. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of lens flare. <laughs> yeah, so it's essentially it's Battle Zone. Like mm. even, it, I mean, even when it was originally on the eight bit computers, it was basically a knockoff of Battle Zone in the sense that it had. Mm. It was done in a vector graphics style. Right. Because um, that's how you did 3D on 8-bit computers. You yeah, know. you could draw a line, and not, that was about it. Yeah. Because if you tried, tried to fill the polygon, well, you'd have been in there for about oh, yeah. three weeks. But the ground is entirely just you know, yeah. 2D effect. It's mm -hmm. not really, you know. Basically, it's, it's a blank area with a gradient texture and little rocks zooming at you, mm -hmm. like, you know, even on the 3DO. But the they did up the... Uh, the, the tanks to be 3D models, but hmm. not not terribly, but you know, enough. <laughs> yeah, not a lot of polygons pushing around. But that was that was like one of the earliest titles, because uh, I imagine it's a fairly easy port to do. I mean, yeah. I'm trying to remember like, what the very. Yeah, I should look this up. Like, sure. When did? Although actually, I wouldn't know what that. See what this like does. the actual launch date of all the 3D titles with that. I'm not even sure where to look that yeah, up. Sort by date. Yeah. On what? Like on um, Moby Games or what? Or, yeah, or something. Yeah. Is that a different track? Yeah. Well, this is this is track two of the of the same circuit. Ah. Ah. Uh, serpentine, serpentine. I mean, compare this to something like um, you know, like Mega Race, which that is uh, streaming uh, video. Yes, it is. Yeah. yeah. And all you can do is really just speed it up or slow it down and maybe slide a little bit to the left mm -hmm. and right. Uh, right. That, that, that game did sh had a surprisingly long shelf life. They, they did a Mega Race 3 yeah. out of that. Well, they had characters. They had the character announcer or whatever. Right. The old thing Lance was. Boyle. Oh, dear God. <laughs> but, uh, My yeah. name's Lance Boyle, and people often ask if I'm real. <laughs> But yeah, it was kind of it was kind of weird seeing uh, that game uh, be be somewhat popular. Where it's like you could do that and you could do a lot of that in real time, you know. 
But it did give them the ability to go on like l lower platforms, like like Sega CD and mm -hmm. such. So. Let's see here. Let's see if I, can I think get I'm going to get destroyed on this. Just running over too many mines. Is there any way of knowing how much damage I'm doing to these guys? Well, you know, your front end is flashing red. Oh, yeah. Can't take too many more hits in the front there. You definitely want to repair. Yeah. <laughs> At this point, they didn't do like more, um, uh, more elaborate tracks. Yeah, because I, I mean, this is like this would have been their chance to do something. I mean, I think maybe that's part of the appeal of Mega Race is like they had just a wide variety of tracks. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's kind of funny that uh, like Mega Race is like. It's essentially it's a laser disc game minus mm -hmm. the laser disc. I was like, where are they? You know, that's how they just that's how they used to do the uh, the high end CG ones back in the mid eighties. Mm -hmm. uh, what was the, what was the one from Williams? Star Rider. Uh, pardon me. Star Rider. That sounds about right. Yeah, you can see like the entire uh, game on YouTube where they have like all the basically it's like well, they had to be abstract tracks just be. Because you know that's basically how, what you could do with CG in those days. So it's like mm -hmm. here we're going past the uh, the, yeah, the, the tetrahedrons city. that are yeah. just floating on the side of the track, and so. Uh, but still, that was a great game. Cubitania. I remember, I remember, yeah, exactly. It was, that was that was that was like what you had there. But still, it was just you know it was awe inspiring in the '80s when you know when yeah. your games were like otherwise were things like Joust, and then suddenly you have like you know a 3D racer that's. Uh, Obviously, very much inspired by the uh, the speeder bike uh, scene from Return of the Jedi. Mm -hmm. um, and I actually had the fortune of playing one of those games. There was an arcade in my hometown that, for some reason, just seemed to get the most obscure games. Huh. That most people I you know that I've met who were around during the game in the arcades, they'd never seen a Star Rider machine. Huh. Maybe because they were they were hideously expensive and they broke down quite easily. Well, laser disc games did that in general, I think. Yeah, although. They did try. They did try a lot to like make that one fairly durable. And the other thing was the thing was huge. I mean, yeah, it's a it's a sit. I don't think I've ever seen a upright for that. This was a sit down cockpit where it looked like you're on top of a giant speeder bike. Ah, and so I imagined like <laughs> it's like I was just like, how'd you get this in the arcade? You know, it's like I was looking at the door. <laughs> Yeah, those those cockpit games are one you know they mm -hmm. weigh a ton. You know, as, as I we can't both remember know. if our arcade had a stand up version or not of Star Red. Uh, yeah, huh? you said I'd never I'd never seen one. Um, I've always seen the the cockpit one. Mm -hmm. Our little cockpit, you know, it's it's not really a cockpit in the fact that it's, it's completely open. It's not like uh, like Star Wars cockpit where it's enclosed or right. anything. Mm -hmm. but. But it literally looks like you're riding on a speeder bike, you know. Yeah, it's like you're yeah but it was a huge off. game. Yeah, enormous and physically enormous. Yes, yeah. But it was fun. Oh yeah. While it lasted, it was fun. <laughs> I always wonder if, like, my hometown, like, when that arcade shut down, uh -huh. if he actually sold the games, or if they're like literally just sitting in a warehouse somewhere. And oh, that like, would be that like, be horrible. It would just like, well, no, it would be awesome. Because <laughs> I was just like, just gotta find Fourth it. Place. I remember, it was like in a crappy section of town. Did you die? No, I just failed to place. So you failed in, to place. Came in fourth place. Oh, da, 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 now, da, 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 okay. Which of these <laughs> is the selected uh, UI? Oh element? God, I hate that. <laughs> but you know, DVD and Blu-ray menus still get that wrong to this day. Which uh -huh. is there'll be two options there, and it's not really clear uh -huh. which what is the selected one. What yeah. constitutes highlighted, and what constitutes yeah? Uh, I'm guessing the solid one. The solid one is the highlighted one? Maybe. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. Um, 
Although I guess you could argue that it's different from all the other text should be the one that's highlighted, right? Mm, but, yeah, I would. Yeah, that's that's also true. <laughs> versus the solid one versus the what did they do there? Did they just did they just overlay like a black cell? Over no, I think it? they I think they just cut out half the lines. Well, yeah, that's what I mean is they overlay a black, you know. Yeah. A, a one by one, thought, yeah, a one by one cell. Like, or what's wrong with an arrow? You know? <laughs> I know. Yeah. But, yeah, that's, oh, that's this is 1993. What are we gonna do? I, I, like I said, they're still making that mistake today on Blu-ray menus. I see all the time where there'll be two <laughs> options there, and it's like yellow or blue, and I'm like, okay, I have no idea which one is the highlighting <laughs> version. Uh, you want to continue this, or do you want to change out to something else? I'll try. Uh, you want to try? Let's see. Bring in Total Eclipse. Want me to want me to drive Total I think Eclipse? You, I think you should try driving Total Eclipse because I have a very clear memory of me not being very good at Total Eclipse. Uh, all right, so we do plot? Take, take take a look at the BBC test card for a second. And smash cut. We're back. Uh, that, uh, should I get that? As you were saying momentarily a moment ago, we should check to see if this, this Crystal Dynamics logo has changed. This was only this launched only CD. a few. CD. Oh, how clever! This this launched like a uh, a few months later. This game was yeah. Only a few no, months it was it was it was very was, close to done when when the when the 3DO launched. So uh, that's why they were able to... short and sweet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you don't want it to be fly through the universe? Oh no, or being attacked by recognizers. <laughs> no, recognizers had longer legs. Yeah. See now they've they've gotten a little better at their compression. It is two thousand and ninety-five. <laughs> See now it's now you're telling me this you don't think this is Cinepac. Uh okay, this looks like Cinepac. If your mouth is covered, you don't have to do lip sync. <laughs> Seriously, that's exactly why they had to have done yeah, that. Yeah, no, that's a, and that's why you know, like the characters in uh, what is it, uh, oh. Solid? You know, oh. Metal Gear Solid all wear helmets. Yeah. Orski, Orski. Wow, you have weak ass. It's shield. more like we have one animator and he can't do lip sync. Mm -hmm. you know? Well, it would take like five times the amount. Of... And even the alien <laughs> has stuff in front of his mouth. <laughs> All your base are belong to us. Your species has been selected for the hunt. You have no time. Chance to survive, make your time. Oh great, here's Viger. <laughs> looks like a looks like a grapefruit juicer. Honor to feed us. We hunt only the quickest and the smartest. What you are about to witness is what we call Juke Pulong. Yeah, on. <laughs> yeah, see, I told you. Grapefruit juicer. Seriously, this is what V'ger looks like if you ever see the extended cut of Star Trek. <laughs> no, V'ger was way bigger than that. Well, yeah, well... <laughs> how do you know the size of the planet? Okay. <laughs> well, let's see. Uh, if we assume the Starship Enterprise... We have, like, a reference. We see, like, a long shot of the Enterprise. No, I mean, what's the scale of reference for this guy? Oh, well, nothing, really. Emergency evacuation. All hands, prepare to abandon ships. <laughs> and turn that star off. <laughs> so, so if you take the so if you take the length of that scene and you see you know how fast the Starship Enterprise is moving across it and say okay that times what was it fifteen minutes uh, this is how that's how big Vidra was. Now uh, Vidra was really booking once he got to the solar system. <laughs> It's like, shed, it's like three minutes. It's like three minutes from wasn't it like three minutes from Saturn to Earth or something like that in the <laughs> in the movie. <laughs> Okay. All right. Did they, did they put any previews on this? What? Uh, I don't know. Wait, we just saw that. There we go. Oh, you have to play. No, you can't hit any button. You have to hit the play button. Oh. TM. I love the TM comes in last. <laughs> Quit previews. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, all right. I don't know. Well, you can do that. Interestingly enough. You have to hit start. You can't hit A, B, or C to select anything. You really? have to hit the play button. Okay, now. 
This is a horde. Horde again, but notice it's not chunky anymore, and the dither pattern is different. I say this is Cinepak, mm. and what we saw earlier was not. Well, like I said, there is somebody who knows how to pull files off these disks. So. <laughs> somebody among us worked on the file system. <laughs> actually, I didn't work on the file system. It was Dave Platt who designed, who designed that, but I'm well, actually you, I'm still you know trying to write a fuse um, module for uh, for reading 3D disks. In a distant and magical kingdom, a hapless serving boy named Chauncey saved the life of the good king, and as reward, was made knight and lord. It's really that easy. Does it? And protect its kind and loving inhabitants. That one previous illustration looked like it had nothing to do with the horde of the story, and made me wonder: is that from a freaking? The Hobbit or like a Lord of the Rings book, like Fellowship of the Ring. No, so, I like don't he's looking, so. he's like he's traveling on the road there, <laughs> on our way to Rivendell. Yeah. Andy, racing your NV ram. I have a copy of the Horde, and I actually think it's the old one. So oh, <laughs> since no. I should bring that over, and it was coming soon. Oh. Ah, yes, this one. This is, this is uh, Total Eclipse with monster trucks. Yeah. And the demo for this was really fun. Everybody loved the demo when it was uh -huh. just like an open world game. And then they they kind of turned it into a, a, more of an on-rail shooter. Mm -hmm. Oh, the best part of it was the, the cutscenes that have the, the MST guys. Yeah, in the two of guys it. doing an MST style, MST 3K style riff on the. Which I, which the which I imagine videos. was a result of they did the live action thing and they realized, God, this really sucks. This it's is corny. Really awful. Well, we can't throw it away because we, we spent too much money, money on, it. on it, so let's throw in the MST <laughs> guys on top of it. But yeah, <laughs> Off World Interceptor is. Uh, the demo for that was really fun. Everybody just remembers playing that and just saying, mm. this is a rot. This is great. And it's like, it was sort of like, you know. Mm -hmm. Early open world game, and then. So what are the controls? Were de well, we'll never find out. <laughs> what? Oh. Sorry. Oh, I wonder if I had to invert the axis. Can I do that mid game? Probably not. I don't know. I, I like I like inverted controls. I'm used to a flight stick, so. I, I I do as well. Even when I'm playing Quake, I prefer flight stick controls. Ah, we don't have to make new video if we just colorize it. Yeah. Scouts have tracked the missile path back to a planet in Mega Nebula called Klandathu. Yeah. Well, no, this is before that, so. <laughs> well, not before the book. <laughs> yeah, but who cares? Uh, Actually, I was more thinking it's like I'm, along the way you'll meet something called Starblade or whatever, <laughs> Red Eye. Whatever. Yes. <laughs> to see Red Eye, take it out as well. <laughs> we should bring up Starblade. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, it's flight controls. It looks like. Oh, that's weird. A is not shoot. B is shoot. I guess they figure it's in the middle, so you can get to the other two quickly. Oh, right! The pixel shatter effect. Yes! Okay, so when these things, if you can get something to blow up... Um, Farther away. For, from can. far away. Oops. Not like that. Um, <laughs> yeah, we did. Reload, 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 reload. Yeah, this is, oh, this is, this is like a bullet hell shooter, because everything comes in in a pattern. Okay, that shatter effect um, originally started life as a hardware bug. I remember that. Um, I've never seen video of that. Actually. We were we so they were um, designing the chip, uh, which was basically like thirteen wire wrap boards with custom logic and FPGAs and and it was just this enormous little enormous little thing. It was a big thing, um, oh. and so they were trying. And so when they they finally got the geometry engine working, well, I don't say the geometry engine, but they finally got the uh, the, the texture you, mapper okay, working. Okay, you can you can roll. When they finally got the texture mapper working uh, to interpret, you know, geometric coordinates and to turn it into uh, stuff that it drew on the screen, the first version of it, um, the f the pixel fill didn't work, and so it would only render the upper left corner, for you know, to, to, uh, the original upper left corner, so to speak, you know, for, and it would take me ten minutes to explain what that means. Basically, it would only show you like one corner, the the upper left corner of the source pixel. Um, and and uh, Dave Neal goes, ah, oh, rats. And so there's a lot more work to be done. But then all us software guys said, oh, that's kind of cool. Can you keep that? 
And so a new bit was defined in the cell control block that did not fill the uh, the polygons. So so we so that effect was kept on for. Um, oh, and, and it, was, it was used in, uh, in in this game and a couple of others. I think I don't remember offhand. Oh, that's right. Um, that's right. That's what didn't work. Um, the uh, magnify filter. So you've got the source texture. If the if you scaled it to less than 100%, then it was fine. But if you scaled it to more than 100%, then the pixels inside the source image would have to be filled in. Right. And it was that fill part that didn't work. Um, I should have read the controls. I don't, like the, the, I don't like the collision detection on this a little bit. It seems like I'm hitting things that I think I'm far enough away from that I shouldn't be hitting them. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. the ground. Yeah. Avoid the ground. Boing. Boing. This is nice though. Right? In the sense that they're not get, you're not getting uh, the normal scene behind stuff or you know like mm -hmm. the camera going through stuff. Is they're fairly nice. Aquas Major. Aquas Major. Really good shots, those guys. <laughs> Boing. Ow. Ah, oh, for an analog stick. Oh. What was the name of that thing in uh, Galaxy Quest? <laughs> the Chompers? Why would you build one of these? Yeah. It serves no function. I'm gonna die before I hit the Yeah, you're gonna run out of energy. I stop firing? That was the one of the... That, no, because the fuel consumption alone, and then if there's a... Oh, okay, so you're about to leave. Ugh. Okay. Yay! Please I don't well. know how you collect more energy. No, usually there's stuff. You know, there's stuff around here. Oh, wait, you're like at one sliver left. Do I have to, like... Yeah, you Do I have to shoot energy. the green things? Does, uh... I don't know. I don't, have, I don't have the manual in front of me. Back when manuals uh, were actually printed and accompanied the game... Yeah, also aiming is a little dodgy. Okay, I think you get energy from blowing shit up. You think? Yeah. Well, wait, I didn't blow... Boom. Did I get anything for death? Oh, yes, I did. A little okay. bit, yeah. Boom. I think you get energy from blowing a green thing, is what I think. Or do I... Can I go through those things? I guess would be the other thing. Ooh, is that infinite? That sounds like something good. <laughs> You know, this is written, this is a document. Yeah, it's a bullet hell shooter. Oh, missile. I miss analog. Oh, these are the missiles you're supposed to be destroying. Really? Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> to boost your way through the series of shutting doors. Okay, what's boost? Okay, A is speed up, I guess. Yeah, it's the same control as the crashing bird. Hmm. Speed up. Hmm. Ow, ow, ow. Or like that. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Do I get four lives or three lives or five lives? Hmm. Uh, it, there's a one next to your ship up there, so I'm guessing... See, this is one of those where it's like, a, it's kind of hard to do both shield and boost at the same time, mm -hmm. or fire and boost at the same time, so it's like, uh, I'm talking. What, are they like oh. an A and C or something like that, or? Well, no, but I mean, it's like, you know, they're right next to each other. If, if mm -hmm. one were like, say, on, uh, see, what are the ships? Oh, the ships are actually, they, they rotate you left, and they actually do the barrel roll. Oh, really? You can do a barrel roll. You have <laughs> one, continue left. Yes, please. <laughs> And should I do something about that? Should I press start? Should I press A? Why don't you tell me, yeah. oh, mighty computer? What the hell? <laughs> ah. Whoa. see, you want to like, slow down to do that one. Wow. 
Like I said, analog would be awesome. Mm, yes. Of course, this predates the flight stick. That's so. correct, by quite a lot. Whoop. Ow. Nope. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, why would you build something like this? <laughs> I mean, yes, I'm sure it leads to the reactor core, blah, blah, blah. But maybe it seems like a little better than like a certain... Uh, actually, why do I need that? It's a missile. I really shouldn't have taken that. Whoa. Whoa. Dun, dun. They do. They do seem to be doing level of detail. I'm, I'm watching the, the far away textures get blurry, and then res in as you get closer. Straight away. Whoop. Lotion up. Need heal. <sighs> Oh, that was... I don't think the mountain is... Uh... Avoid the ground. Yes. <laughs> Avoid the ground. It's something I failed to do. Throw yourself at the ground and miss. Please. Yes. No. It's just that thing. So, okay, killing those does not give me power. What, these flying things? Oh, uh, sorry. No, the, the green... I uh, no, I thought I saw it jump. These do. Please say there's something. Is that infinite for what? Infinite what? Please tell me. For the firepower, infinite shield. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's an elevator. Oh, okay. Ooh. What? Ooh. I suppose that's one way of uh, okay. flying the game. What? Well, you've got a radar thing at the top center. Yeah. Oh, did I miss some of those? Now I'm gonna like go back and do them again. Is that the whole thing? I've got to... Oh, what? Oh, come on! I hit that blue little thingy, <laughs> the blue cylinder of death. It's like missing the trench run in Star Wars. Really... <laughs> Use the force, Luke. Are you still here? Come on! <laughs> Seriously, what are you guys doing? I would love the fact that the enemy showed up on the radar. Not just the ground, yeah, not just the not just the yeah. height map that they have of the. Mm -hmm. oh, nice. Okay, infinite what? I would love to know. Infinite shield, infinite absolute power. What is it? Okay, so oh, okay, so it does go up and shoot those green guys. It does not seem to go up and shoot the recognizers though. Well, say. if you're already full, there's not, there's no I more full, full to be. I, mean, I don't think I was full. Oh come on! Seriously? <laughs> Those missiles. How are you supposed to get all of them? Unless you slow, does your speed stay slow, or is it just keep? Let me see here. I'd love to know what that infinite means. Oh, you want to look it up? <laughs> so I can look it up for you. It's a timer. It might be like we mm -hmm. should go speed up. Yeah. Whacking against the walls there. Yeah. I don't know. Collision rush, I guess, not as bad as like the collision I always saw. We thought we had in Blade Force, which was hmm. I thought. Yikes! You're you're about to explode. I see that. Oh, got a little back. I see. Ah, oh. hmm. low bridge. <laughs> but I could go. you had. I thought I could go under it. <laughs> Whoa. 
There better be something awesome in this cannon up ahead. <laughs> What? Damn. They blew what? You up. They blowed you up. Do you bastards. Is that it? This is your last continue. I thought that was one so left. So don't waste dude. it. Yeah. <laughs> Aquas Major. Ah, uh, yes. My skills with the D-pad are not what they once were. Oh, they start me back here. That's kind of... That is lame. Dickish uh, is the yeah. word for... <laughs> I cleared the tunnels, okay. What is this, sewer shark? Come on. Wee. Almost. Wee. Slow down. What? Poof. I hit hardly anything except those damn mines. I was like, well, it's a mine. <laughs> yeah, but I have, a, I have a sophisticated spaceship with a freaking plasma. It, okay, so. Oh, they let, they let you through? Alright. Uh, I wonder if that's a glitch, like where they start you, that's uh, you know, a problem. The floating ball bearings, okay, great. Hello, my, that's my man. I think the main problem is just, the, the spaceship is going just a little too fast so that I, I can't hit enough it's bullets little, on these things before they... Uh, it's a little too twitchy or...? Just a little bit, but I can slow down a bit. This, wait a minute, is this... Am I back at the same freaking place as before? Yeah, I think you've backed up a bit. Let's take her this slow. This doesn't seem to be able to fire fast enough to get, get enough bullets. Because those guys take a lot of hits, apparently. Or I need to get better... What does that thing do? Uh, where are you going to start me back? Are you start me back in the tunnels? You will... Nope, back here. Hmm. I that, like I said, I wonder if that was a glitch before. Let's go this way. Like, for instance, these things. I don't even know if I can destroy these things or not. I don't like this guy. Pixel shatter. Yay! What? See, uh, depth yeah, it's perception. A sense, sense, yeah, sense of depth is, is me seriously messed up. Yeah, okay. But this was space flight at 24 frames in a second. 24 frames. Well, you know, the guy who couldn't figure out how far he was from the uh, 1x4x9 op, op monolith. <laughs> hey, how close am I? I don't want to annoy it. Like, I'm, I'm hitting this at like six, this button at like 60 hertz, and my, it doesn't mm -hmm. seem like I'm getting... <laughs> and it doesn't have auto-fire if you hold it down? Oh, it does. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Pew, 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 pew. And I missed that. Oh, great. I have to go back probably for another missile or something. Oh, of course, the question is, do you actually have to... Oh, look, the, the outer ones are kind of spinning around. Oh, I see. That's kind of cute. Of course, am I using my uh, my energy faster? Or? I don't know. It doesn't seem that way. Uh. Am I going through the? The same one over and over again. I've got to do like the left tunnel or something, indie or whatever the hell it is. Uh, oh no, okay. It's just just a few sections that are repeating. Okay, never mind. Change. Yes. Slow down. <laughs> See, I I did not think I should be hitting the ceiling at that point. You know, mm. or at the bottom. Of it. Holding down, what a, what a clever concept. <laughs> that makes it a lot easier. Pro tip, <laughs> hold down the button. <laughs> Oof. Kids these days get to have their buttons held down for them because they don't even have to... Miniature space stations. Yeah, no, what the hell's up with that? 
I did say I did identify as a bullet hell shooter, so okay, I guess yeah. it makes some kind of sense. Yeah, but this is an American game. So, you know, like, yeah, so many bullet hell American games. <laughs> So obviously they intended you to hold it down. Um, all right. Is this a boss fight coming? No, from? part three. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> okay. Not big on the whole continuous. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Call me a viper. What was that? No, it's... Gee, I wonder how that. Yeah, then they just, like slide in from where you can't quite hit them. Slide too, baby. <laughs> they just can't point in their direction. Mm. <laughs> Not in any effective way, no. Yeah. Infinite? Wow. Infinite what? That's I what mean, you've already got. I know. Oh, the the circley thing. The what? The, oh. The circle. Yeah. The two. The dual circle Wait, pattern. Did I, did I die? Here, back to the beginning of this section. What the hell? I didn't. I thought I had plenty of. You, you did, but um, you were also going through a choke point, and they were shooting at you. Yeah, choke, the, choke on that <laughs> Angry planet in the background. You remember saying people saying there's there's, there's a port of this uh, for the Saturn, I think the PlayStation levels uh, Total Eclipse Turbo or something like that. Really? And people said, oh, it's much it's much smoother than this game. It's like, yeah, they probably, it also came out like a year and a half later. I think they probably figured out how to make it, you know. Mm -hmm. But they put the same thing out. Uh, what is this? I guess we'll never know. Okay, different. Different weapon on top of the weapon you already had. Cool. Yikes. a gold star for you and for you. You've been such a good little boy. <laughs> Can I actually kill this thing? I've never killed one of these. Yay! Big boy. I'd like to see this on, you know, a little more freeform. I guess I like, guess in like Star. I'd like Fighter. turn around. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the Star Wars. Or like uh, Rescue on Fractalus. Uh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I would love to see a modern version of that game. That, that would be that would be nice. I mean, using as simple as same, it is, using the same engine, using the same technique, but you know. Well, not the same engine. You probably want well, like some more texture mappy stuff on there, but the same general idea. Yeah, yeah. fly around, destroy gun emplacements, pick up. Uh, uh, hmm. Downed astronauts, or thing, things you think are downed hmm. astronauts. Please edit this out of the video. <laughs> For a million dollar idea. Right now. <laughs> and now that uh, Disney owns uh, Lucasfilm, they probably wouldn't care about those old uh, IPs. <laughs> we'll call it Rescue on Triangulus or something like that. Or <laughs> Subdivisionist or something. <laughs> Rescue on Bezius. <laughs> <laughs> Nerbulous. There you go. Nerbulous. <laughs> oh. Kill the big thing. No. No. Die! Die! Die like the dogs you are. Oh. Now avoid the ground. <laughs> Part four. Come on, where's the, big, where's the big volcano, lava spewing, volcano monster boss? Come yeah. On. We all saw the screenshot. So this is basically like scramble, if you think about it. I mean, mm -hmm. basically yeah. it's like you got to blow up stuff to keep your fuel up. Right. Blamp. Whoa. Wait, am I still... I'm at the top of the world. Yes, you are, and you have Ma. no vertical space. Ma. Basically. I mean, it looks like I'm hitting the ground. Though, I'm doing. Yeah, as you say, it's like scramble, and they've just basically given you a very narrow vertical corridor. 
There should please be some shit to blow up in here because we run out of fuel. Rocking guitar riff thing I go on. Yeah, that kind of shit. yeah, I'm starting to starting to annoy me. I assume that they're streaming. That, that's probably not a, a mod synth. Uh, thing. It's well, it's sure looping. I, I mean, it, it's I mean, looping a lot, but yeah. It's I mean, it could it could be a looping sound sample as opposed to a mod. Mm -hmm. Bamf. Bamf. It's nice how like a. Uh, Oh, a, a graphical uh, or a program, not a program, but I guess a hardware error, you know, we said, hey, let's have a, yeah. make a great little graphical effect out of that. So that's the difference between, you know, yeah. wiring stuff up nowadays and, mm -hmm. and what they, you know, now what they do where it's just like, oh. I guess you get a little bit of that when people are like programming shaders. I've had a lot of that where it was just like, oh, I didn't mean for that to happen, but it looks awesome. I just got to file that one away for later. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I love the fact that they actually went to the trouble to try and put these connecting corridors as a way of like changing from the low, but they don't do it on top side when you just hit a, you know. Yes, yes, use the force. Pew, pew, pew. Ah. A little token. show up. You bitches. Okay, I'm gonna find the level zone who decided to do that. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you now. Okay, let's just let you out. Greetings, Starfighter. Launch all vipers now. Hello. There we go. Oh. Pick your poison. Hmm. Ah! Hey, hello. Is this our boss? Sure, acting like one. It's sort of like the Scorpio Imperial shuttle thing. Kind of. Is he supposed to be hopping? Is that his, uh, his modus operandi? You're gonna need to. Yes, yeah. I see. There you go. Very nice. Oh, shoot. <laughs> wow. Okay. Boing. Boing. I need some fuel. Come on. Oh. Yeah, is there any way to know like what, what his, his damage is? Yeah, what yeah. his damage is. Yeah. I have no idea. I wish I didn't. Isn't there like a a weapon? A weapon change or missile? no? There's a there's like a I thought there was like a smart thing you can send across the landscape. Oh, remember that? Oh, not very well. See, look, I can do this. Ah, yes, sucky. that tremendously helps. <laughs> yes, we can show off. Thank you. Look, we, we actually do have all three axes of the projection matrix. Ah, damn it, I'm missing all these things. I'm missing... Damn it, I keep missing those... My power-ups. Oh, I got... <laughs> now you Just explode, in time. So. Yeah, boom. There you go. All done. <laughs> yeah, that's the end of the game. There we go. <laughs> well done. You've earned the rank of captain. Earth has a chance now that you've destroyed those missiles. Unfortunately, they weren't our only worry. Our colonies are being wiped out by Draxi cyborgs. I need a pilot with your skill to pay a visit to their <laughs> cyborg laboratory in the Centauri Nebula and nullify them. Good luck, Captain. Orion. Captain. He's like he said like is he, <laughs> this is he, isn't awfully sarcastic. Is he pissed that I just got promoted? Yeah, you know, he should do about ten minutes of flying, now he's a freaking captain. <laughs> oh, Magma Prime. So where there was water, now there's like lava. lava. 
So basically, touch the ground and die. Oh, cool. oh shoot. It's yeah, full and of the, stars. And, yeah, and you're taking damage way more quickly. No, there was like a... There it is. That's it. That weapon. Oh, a shock wavy kind yeah. of thing? Yeah, okay. Well, how do you get more of those? I'd love to know how many of those I have. Uh, none, I think. Is that that, is that, there, that indicator on the, the left there? The upper left, um, there you had one little missile-looking thing, and now you've got none. Oh, look, there's there's Anakin and uh, Obi-Wan fighting <laughs> that over there. Yes. Now, see, that would have been an awesome little Easter egg if, the, if they'd know. Well, I mean, I guess you, they did know. This was... It was always before before episode three. Mm. It had always been rumored in like uh, the backstory canon that you know they they fought you know on a volcano planet. And he was disfigured. Blah 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 blah. What? You got shot. Yeah, I can I can see that. But <laughs> all that spraying and none of those sprites mm -hmm. hit those guys. I actually the question is like so for collision detection. I guess they they had to do it all in the CPU. Yeah. There was some. I mean, there was some collision detection support, but only in a two D kind of way. Awesome. Actually, I find that. It did, actually, wait. Is that true? No, that was true on the Atari Lynx. I don't know that it was true on this. I, so I'm finding, like, you know, programming games nowadays. It's like, wow, collision detection is actually a hard problem. Um, mm -hmm. least, or it's either expensive to do, or it's just, or it's yeah, totally inaccurate, to, or something like that. Well, especially I mean, for three D objects, you have to do. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, all sorts of shortcuts to try yeah. and just, okay is this definitely not touching is this definitely hitting yeah um, you can usually get away with uh, you know some, some some cheesy shortcuts but but yeah it's yeah. Uh, whereas like probably one of the things that probably made the life of the Atari 2600 program easier was the fact that it had pixel perfect collision detection and it was free you know uh -huh. it was one of the few things the hardware actually could do you know <laughs> Well, it's because it was doing like scan out, so it's like, oh, I'm scanning these two things out at the same time. Yeah. So, but you know, obviously they overlap. But and like, again, the Atari Lynx had that. For how? Yeah, but for how? 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 Uh, shall we say low powered the uh, the, oh, uh, the 2600 was? Oh, it's yeah. like Whereas they, I think they had to do it on the CPU on the mm -hmm. on the Intellivision and even the ColecoVision, and so that caused, you know. yeah. Yeah, the, the Commodore 64 actually had a a sprite background collision detection and I think also sprite to sprite collision oh. detection as well. Yeah. Sprite to sprite. Yes. Okay. Um Yeah. Okay, so we actually have to go through that they don't reopen. Yeah. This, okay. is, this is yeah, this is one of the reasons why I was never very good at this game, because you get to this part and you've basically got to go full Wait, out. Was that my last tunnels. continue? I don't know. Is that what it's the extra black this means? I am going as fast as I... What the? What? What? Oh. Uh -oh. What was that? Um, some, was that a... Was up and down kind of... No, I mean, that one. I didn't see an opening in that that solid square. Was that a... You're, I we're didn't gonna, either. We're going to take some damage it no matter like, what. It looked like it was like um, too closely... It looked like it was matched very closely against um, whatever was behind it. You want to play? So, you want to play? I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do any better. I mean... <laughs> What do we have time-wise? Uh, uh, I don't know. What's... It doesn't seem that long. I mean, it's because I'm playing instead of watching you. But uh... <laughs> I don't know. We've got about an hour. An hour? We're we're... About oh. an hour, yeah. Do so we think that's enough? Oh. An hour seems to be the ISO standard uh, I mean, we could do, we could do, you know, if we don't have, uh, I didn't bring my copy of the Horde, so we could do like a Crystal Dynamics retrospective. Uh-huh. Right? I remember reading an article or somebody saying like uh, the guys who did Gex about how they massively underestimated how much time Gex would take because they they basically underestimated like, yes because yeah. they uh, they'd done uh, Crash and Burn they'd done Total Eclipse and mm -hmm. but they re didn't realize like they said you know pretty much for Gex like every almost every tech tile on that is unique on a level um, it shouldn't be but it shouldn't uh, be no <laughs> but. Doing... Uh, yeah. They said they, they had, you know, literally orders of magnitude more tiles they had to do per level than they had to do on, on Crash and Burn and mm -hmm. Total Eclipse. Because, you know, Total Eclipse is basically, it's like, maybe oh. five or six things. Yeah, just like, repeat that. Over you know, here's our lava texture, here's our, you know, mm -hmm. here's our grass texture, throw it at the height map, and you're done, you know. Mm -hmm. Whereas that one, it's like, oh, we got to lay this out and look at all this, these ledges and half ledges and button. Yeah, mm -hmm. so. yeah, left corner, that's left side ledge, right side ledge, bottom of the ledge, you know. Oh, you want to, the artist wants a lip, fine. Yeah. Uh, 
2D games are less forgiving for repeating patterns than for 3D games, you know, because because you, I don't know, there's you know, a, there's repeating a textures on a 3D game is not so big because everything, you know, mm -hmm. it's being put on undulating terrain that looks different versus, mm -hmm. you know, the very the variability is in the geometry, not the, yes. yeah, the, the texture map. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so they were had a rude awakening when it came to Gex. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a copy of Gex? I don't have. I do have a copy of Gex. Oh, okay. Uh, not. I don't think here. No, but I definitely do. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, so Crystal Dynamics. Let's see. They did the horror. They did Gex. They did. Mm -hmm. uh, they also published a lot of games. I know that like yeah. uh, a lot of the uh, American Laser later ones, like Who Shot Johnny Rock, I think, was did one they, that they published. They do Mad Dog McCree. No, that was they. ALG did their own, and then like the later ones, like that were. I don't know for what what the reason was, but it was like I think like the very last ones like uh, Who Shot Johnny Rock and mm. Space Pirates. I, I think they oh. I don't know if American Laser Games was just having troubles or what the deal was, but for some reason Crystal published them. Huh. Uh, but I'm trying to think what other original I games think, were I there. I think I played an arcade version of Space Pirates yeah. once, and there's like this one section that I couldn't get past where well, it basically American, was the American, chest high wall section. Well, think about this. Well, American Laser Games, their whole business model was originally based on soon to be obsolete uh, laser disc technology mm -hmm. so you know and the arcades is running on amiga 500s or right <laughs> so. but yes chris i'm trying to think what other titles crystal did I mean, they did let's see it's like original ones look that up they on the did. web here we go yeah the horde that was great i'm surprised the horde never made it to like anything else you know it seemed like a, it seemed like a pretty good game a relatively deep game it was sort of like uh, SimCity Light or something like that, or like Theme Park. It was, I'd certainly like to better than like say like Theme Park or huh. any of those other. Uh, yeah, you, sort go, of you, build up, you build up your village, and then the horde comes in and knocks it out. And it's a, a little sort of like um, StarCraft. Yeah, it was it was kind of a weird uh, hybrid of action and uh, uh, RTS. Yeah, yeah. which made it a little. Except there was only you. There was there, there was nothing. Oh, well, you could hire knights that could stand around and go, you shall not pass, or whatever the hell it was. But yeah, it was, uh, yeah, that was, that's all I liked about it. It was, it was like a hybrid of, uh, like, two genres, and it was kind of, uh, hmm. Crystal Dynamic. Oh, no, 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 no. Browse games by... They don't have them in chronological... Would it be so hard to have games in chronological order in Moby Games? They must have something about that. They just have like most popular, yeah, which is like hmm. measured by who. Metacritic yeah. wasn't around back then. I don't. Yeah, I don't, year. Okay, let's try by year. Nineteen ninety-three. Hmm. I wonder what one game they have in ninety-three. <laughs> Crash and Burn. There we go. <laughs> I think Total Eclipse made it out before the end of ninety-three. I can't remember because I remember it, obviously everybody was waiting for it, mm -hmm. but. I can't remember if it actually did make it or if it was like just after Christmas. It made it out. There was a bunch of those. So 1994 shows Gex, The Horde. Oh, it does show Mad Dog McCree. I guess I did publish it. Hmm. Interesting. Offworld Interceptor. Patank. Can't forget Patank. Oh, they did that? Yes. Oh, all right. Samurai showed on Star Control 2. Yes, that's the one. Hmm. Uh, I, which, you know, that was, that was an awesome port. That was a true case of a PC port that was so much better than the PC original. It was not funny. Mm-hmm. You know about Star Control. Have you ever played Star Control 2? No, I have not. Oh, God. It's an awesome game. I've, that, heard, I've heard good things, but i never played it. It's probably the best writing in a game up until something in the last few years, like Walking Dead or something. Uh. And, and and that's it, it takes forever because it's, you know, basically you have a galactic star map. You have to go to star to star. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a well-known PC game, but then for the, the 3DO port, they added voice acting for all the the aliens and they beefed up the graphics a bit mm -hmm. and all that stuff and and that's the there's a a, a shareware game uh, called Urquan Masters huh. which is basically a fan remake and it's oh. based they based it they took all the content from the 3DO version because that's like the mm -hmm. definitive version which was, huh. and I think then there was even a Kickstarter because they did that before Kickstarter and then I yeah. think there's a Kickstarter thing to get a hold of the actual star control ip there was a star control 3 it was only the pc huh. but to get a hold of the actual but everybody loves 2 the best like by mm -hmm. far 
uh, to get a hold of the actual IP and do another one or do a, a remake of two, a complete remake of two. Yeah. Hmm. Cause yeah, it's an epic story. And it's one of those, it, it's another one of those, it's very heavy on the sim of like going, uh, you know, planet to planet, f finding resources, a lot like mass effect, uh, you know, <laughs> Building up, thinking, building, thinking building up an army. Yeah, remote, um, yeah, remote scanning planets, looking for resources, which is Yahtzee described, which isn't interesting. Which isn't as interesting as it sounds, and it sounds like this. Yeah, then you gotta send a little rover down to actually pick up said resources. Mm -hmm. There's a little game in that. There's also a space com. If you come come across guys in space, you have to. You can either let the computer auto play mm -hmm. the combat, or you play sort of like space war. It's usually I found it's usually better to let the computer play because hmm. uh, yeah. But then also because you have you build up a whole fleet of ships at mm -hmm. one point because you you're the main thing is like you you start off the game with a mach a starship that makes other starships mm. so you're going around gathering blueprints yeah. by encountering other alien species so you can make them and add them to your fleet and mm -hmm. such so and it's this epic thing where you know it starts off with Earth is enslaved oh and but you you've been away from the planet and you come back and you find the Earth enslaved. Um, so you're essentially Have I gone that long. Where? Yeah, exactly. You're essentially leading the resistance. There's a huge ass backstory of this thing. I'm, I'm surprised it's not. Actually, do we have star control? I actually have it here. Let me not check. In, not in that one. I don't think. Really? I would think I would just put that one in here if I. I mean, I know I have it, but I know I haven't finished it. That's the one that comes with a big map. Uh, you actually uh, have to use the map oh. to find stuff. Um, but no, it's not, not there. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, that that would that would take forever to play through. I would. <laughs> if you wanted, to, if you wanted to some somebody to play through that, and it's hysterical. And there's all certain things where it's like there are lines where it's like you you have to like go to this sector to find this particular alien race. If you find this race, it makes your your life much easier. Hmm. And then there's sort of like um, I don't want to say it's like hyperspace or it's another. Basically, you can actually travel in another subspace where there's like regular hmm. travel, and then there's like eventually you get access to this mm -hmm. uh, not hyperspace but it's like a, it's like an alternate space where you, like the background is like it's not black for instance mm -hmm. it's, it's like this whitish purplish thing um, and you meet like other creatures and you try and like recruit them and it just the different races are hysterical uh, that you come across like like you come across ones that are like they're just like these the most cowardice race ever and they're the ones that are sort of like managing Earth when you arrive. And then you find them like on the moon. And they immediately, you just keep, if you just keep talking to them, their whole history, you'll get their whole history of like how, you know, it's like, <laughs> you, you quickly figure out that's like, you could easily just talk these guys into surrendering because they're, they're so chickens or whatever. Uh, okay. <laughs> and, and eventually he's like, you you do make the allies, and so you get the, like they're one of the first ships you get is their ship, which actually it's a pretty good ship because it's very fast and does little damage, but it's mm -hmm. so maneuverable it's hard and almost impossible to hit. Hmm. But uh, like towards the end, like they uh, they end up like eventually they just don't want to take any part in the thing. You and you actually find their home planet after you've sent them along their merry way of mm -hmm. like you know okay don't ever come back to Earth or whatever. You find they've enslaved their own planet. In other words, they they put a, a shield, a slave shield around their home planet. Just like yeah, we just don't want to interact with anybody. So yeah, <laughs> we're just locking ourselves away behind the shields, <laughs> and nobody can get in. There you go. <laughs> just, Problem just, solved. Exactly. <laughs> they just become the most xenophobic race ever, and just like okay, we're done. Don't want to know about story. Yes, we have space travel, but we're not going to use it. Just nope, just bad idea all around. <laughs> And they had like the best voice for the race was like this very high hype. You think it'd be annoying, but it's like it's hysterical when you listen to like they're going these long speeches of like. You know, <laughs> it's, not, it's not like sped up or or chipmunk. It's a little bit because like we spotty have, have uh. prepared a speech for just such an occasion. And it goes something like this: Oh, please don't hurry! Don't hurry! <laughs> <laughs> But much higher pitch than that. <laughs> it's just a story. We've well prepared for this day by this speech. Please accept this, accept this speech. And it's, ah, no, no. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's, not, it's one of those, one of like the 50 games you should play before you die would be Star huh. Control 2. Huh, okay. Oh, I wonder if that's on, huh. To, so was it a PC release ever? There was, yeah, yeah. Oh, but, it was, but, the, but the 3DO release is better. You, like I said, you can find, I'm pretty sure, the... Uh, shareware version the the fan okay the fan remake uh 
Because Ur- the it's I'm called w- the Urquan Masters. Yeah, I'm, wondering, it's I'm wondering if it's like on uh, goodoldgames.com, gog.com. Yeah. But like I said, there's yeah. just look for the Urquan Masters. U R Q U A N Masters. And, I will... Or just look for Star Control too. And uh, for, the first thing I'll probably link to is like fan remake Urquan Masters. Yeah. I will look for Where that. They they ripped the three D O assets for a lot for like all the voice assets and stuff for, from the three D O version as are the planet layouts and stuff. So. Mm-hmm. Well, I hope you've enjoyed a visit to uh, early Crystal <laughs> Dynamics. Dynamics yeah. <laughs> who are still in business, unlike 3DO. Yes. Uh, and um, so we will be getting back to Monster Manor mostly because I did finish level 10. I finished it. Yay. Video or it didn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I had it recorded. It's sitting on the NAS, ready to be used. Um, but I want to... You, you've hired some like neighbor kid to finish it for no, you. Oh, <laughs> no. I did it on my own. <laughs> All by myself. It took like God. This is why we. This is why you get extra guys. Because if I'd like been playing through legitimately, I would have like seven fewer guys than I do now. But anyway, well, thank you for joining us for this, and uh, we'll see you all next time.